Hello, and welcome to Trailers from Hell. My name is Ernest Dickerson, and this week's trailer is for It Came From Beneath the Sea, which is a special movie for me because it's quite possibly the first movie I ever saw. I remember seeing it on a double bill with The Creature with the Atom Brain back in 1955 in Boston, Massachusetts, and it scared the bejesus out of me. Now, the day for night photography at sea forever affected the way I look at the ocean at night in this movie. Moonlight sparkling on the water, but you know, when I'm down in uh, Venice Beach and I look at the water, I expect something to, to, to come crawling out like a giant tentacle and start unfurling. But uh, this movie starred Ken Toby, who was our hero, and he saved us from so many monsters in the 50s. And plus, he was a helicopter pilot in a great TV show called Whirly Birds. The beautiful Faith Dahmer played another great, smart lady scientist. Serious, but sexy. There she is, look at her. Mm. Now the effects were by the great Ray Harryhausen, and were, pre and were done on a pretty low budget. This was a low budget film. You can see that it was shot almost entirely on location. It had a very kind of documentary style. But it really worked with Harryhausen's effects to make this one of the better uses of low budget and 50s monster films. Now, this movie was so low budget that the giant octopus is actually a sixtopus. Harryhausen had to cut back on the tentacles from eight to six just to save money. I remember this scene because it really scared me. This thing was actually coming up on land and it wrecked the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, apparently the San Francisco City Fathers weren't too happy with the depiction of the Golden Gate Bridge being destroyed. They went to the governor, but there was nothing they could do to stop the production. So the city refused parking privileges. So the bridge footage was shot guerrilla style. And it worked. It looked pretty good. They were shooting on real submarines and real city streets, and I guess they were grabbing whatever they could. And that's it came from beneath the sea. The H-bomb blasted it loose from the depths of the Pacific. But not even the H-bomb can kill it. 